All right, guys, let's get right into it. Carlos Adamas can see right through Janibek Halimkanila. And Adamas wants all the smoke. Adamas wants Canelo. Adamas wants Janibek. How do you think a fight between Janibek and Adamas is going to look? Janibek should fight Adamas, actually. Uh, Adamas is a real strong fighter. A lot of people believe that he's the best in the division. Arislandi Lara, we know that he's busy. And so is Jamal Charlo. So that means that Janibek might not fight for another six, seven, maybe eight months. Why wouldn't he take the fight if Carlos Adamas is available? Without question, he's a talented fighter with supreme skills, but the best middleweight in the world. Adam is 23 and one with 18 knockouts finds that laughable. To add further credence to his agreement, Adamus is asking all who will listen to simply take a look at his resume. Janibek might be undefeated, but his level of opposition, according to Adamus, has been in subpar. When last seen, the 30-year-old Kazakhstan native made it look incredibly easy against Vincenzo Gualteri. He may have held the IBF middleweight title, but Janibek made sure his reign was short-lived, stopping him in the sixth round. With the WBO belt in one hand and the IBF in the other, Janibek is banging on the doors of other title holders at 160 pounds, begging and pleading with them to face him. Absent from Janibek's callouts, however, was Adamus. Although he holds the secondary WBC crown, Adamus believes that Janibek should view him in the same championship light as both Erislandi Lara and Jamal Charlo, the remaining belt holders at 160 pounds. Adamus and Janibek aren't buddy-buddy. They aren't even cordial with one another, but the 29-year-old Dominican has a hunch as to why no one from Janibek's team has reached out to him for a fight. Open quote, I bet if a fighter on the level you are used to fighting had my belt, you would take the fight, said Adamus on his social media accounts. Seemingly the biggest impediment to the matchup between the pair is the opposing networks they currently fight on. In the case of Janibek, he's associated with Bob Arum's top rank. As for Adamus, he fights solely under the banner of PBC. Promotional issues have always created roadblocks. Monetary demands have also caused rifts in the realm of big fights. For Adamus, it's beginning to set in. He understands that intense conclaves will be needed in order to resolve whatever issues are at hand. For what it's worth, Adamus is willing to play his part, although he's earned the right to make a career high payday in a matchup against Janibek just to get their deal over the finish line. Adamus reveals that he's willing to accept a low ball offer. Open quote, Papa Aram won't let you fight me. They know me. I'll fight you for free, close quote. All right, guys, well, what do you think about Carlos Adamas sending smoke signals to Janibek? Guys, in the comments below, let us know what you think Janibek should do. Do you think that he should take the fight? If it's possible, we do know that Carlos Adamas is with TBC, and of course, Janibek is with top rank, so that could be the major roadblock, but it actually seems that Janibek is causing the roadblock because he's not wanting to fight and refusing to fight Adamas because he's the interim title holder. He said, get the full belt and then we can talk. Uh, guys, let us know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the topic? You can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV Official, X for me on his Twitter at Sportbox TV. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate the love and support. Take care.